Hey folks, welcome to Bayfire Bricks. My name's Dom and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, it's a Gotham Micro City update and I'm pleased to announce that this stage of the mock is complete. The long awaited trans clear tiles I ordered finally arrived and it's looking pretty good. And hey, if you agree and you think the mock is cool, then give this video a like, it's much appreciated especially as a huge amount of time has gone into the build. Unfortunately though, not all the trans clear tiles are the same colour, but I'm not too fussed about it. It does look a bit odd once I point it out, but it's not that bad in person. And in future, I will replace it all and make it all the same colour, but that's for another order of tiles and for the next phase of the city. Just now, I'm just happy that I finally got this all tiled off and complete. The water really makes a difference and the contrast to the buildings, it kind of makes it clear where each section of the city is. I have added a last few details, one of which is the Joker's balloon and this is a reference to the one featured in the 89 movie and also the animated series. It's a bit basic, yes, but it has these jets and toxic gas canisters underneath, which is going to poison Gotham. And I quite like this version of the Joker's face from the Lego Batman movie, and it just makes me laugh a wee bit. Down on the right hand side of the screen, I also made another change, which was to make Blackgate Prison a bit smaller and less blocky. I felt it was an odd looking building and I'm much happier with this version. Sometimes a bit of time away from a mock makes you see things you need to change. And around here from this, this little protruding light bar, I've added the Backhopter, which is in pursuit of the Joker. And perhaps Batgirl is the pilot. If I go back to this shoreline though, and hey man, this water looks great. I really like the way this turned out. Slaughter Swamp and the prison sit nicely in it. And overall, it just has a nice look. And this color, this tone of trans clear tile just looks a wee bit better than the other version I had. And in future for the other parts of the mock that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use this color of trans clear tile because it really does stand out a bit better. And I actually tried out something a bit more unique, which was this sand blue color with one by one tiles. And I filled in all three base plates to see what it looked like. And the reason for this was because I thought it would be neat to try a totally different look for the water that you see from other mocks on YouTube and on Instagram and stuff. But you know, see for yourself, I just don't think it looks right. There is way less glare, which is actually a good thing, but I found compared to trans clear tiles, it was quite lacking in just the way it looks and it's not clear that it's actually water. And indeed, trans clear tiles do a far better job at representing water in Lego than these tiles. So later on this month, I'm taking this mock into a photography studio and I'm doing some 4K video and some still photography. And that video will be a bit delayed as I was delayed myself waiting for the tiles, but it's gonna be a fun day and I will be doing a detailed look at the city and the skyscraper builds in particular. And then the next phase of the mock once that is done will be to add another three base plates, which will include the mainland, the city dockyards and airport, Wayne Manor and lots of bridges. So I need a lot more trans clear tiles to complete that. Better get my order in soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the trans clear tiles versus sand blue. And if you haven't already seen it, check out this cool mock I made of the 89 Batmobile and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.